It's patio season in the 419. I'm hanging out at what I like to consider an, a hidden gem here in the Glass City at Mommy Bay Brewing Company with Michael Martin. Uh, first up, we got a couple beers. Let's do a cheers. Absolutely. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Michael, it's a, it's a Monday afternoon, but we got a crowd I see behind you. Yeah. Do you always have people rotating in here, you know, throughout the week? Uh, throughout the week, yeah. It gets kind of busy with Owens Corning right down the road. We get a lot of their employees coming in for lunch on random weekdays. And then this group just stopped in on the pedal bar tour downtown. So we get those coming through. People renting out, coming here, getting door cups and going back out on the tour around downtown. So we get some nice business from everything around. So door does come to this part. Yes. Okay, perfect. I wasn't aware of that. We just became a part of the door last summer so we're a part of it now you can come in grab a beer walk to a mud hens game walk to a walleye game whatever you want to do and have a beer to go I called this a hidden gem and it really is because it's kind of like tucked in here you got a rustic feel you almost feel like you know you're right in the middle of makeshift downtown it's kind of what it feels like you're on a movie set uh, tell me a little bit about this patio and the vibes that you get out here uh, the vibes I get out here you can definitely tell it's very historic from all just the brick and everything around here uh, this patio has obviously been here since the building was first constructed, so back in the 1850s. And I just get like the vibe where you can come out, grab a beer with some friends, and just relax, kick your feet up. We, when it's colder outside, these are fire tables too, so people come out, play cards, play board games, everything like that. Just a nice, relaxing vibe out here. I love the lights too that are kind of overhead too. You almost feel like you're a little bit in someone's backyard. It, it really good, welcoming vibes. Mommy Bay, obviously, I'm, I'm not gonna ask you the history of it because everybody knows you guys have been here for so long, everybody's familiar with your beer, but um, maybe just like a brief overview of what it's like working for Mommy Bay Brewing Company. Um, it's been one of the best experiences I've had. I started out as a bartender here when I was still in college and just the ownership, the managers, everyone treats you like a family. So it's a really nice vibe working here. You, I enjoy coming into work every day. I love what I do. And working with beer as a young guy, it's pretty cool. You know, getting to mm -hmm. sample it, getting to go out, talk about the beer. and. It's the craft beer community is just a tight knit community to be in, even just in Toledo, but all over the state. So you get to meet a lot of cool people throughout working here too at different breweries. Mommy Bay Brewing is part of the recently launched 419 Ale Trail, a free mobile passport system featuring 29 breweries, distilleries, and meaderies throughout Northwest Ohio. You're drinking one of, um, you know, what I think of as like the staples of Mommy Bay, which is a glass hopper IPA. You know, it's been around, it seems like forever. Yeah. Um, I have Anthos, yeah. the newer beer, kind of like a summer beer. Yeah, so it's a rosemary lime wit beer. It's very light, nice, easy drink, drinking beer. Uh, you got that rosemary flavor on the front end and then a lot of lime on that aftertaste. So it's good to just, when, you, when you're out in the courtyard or if you're out in the grass field out there, we call Growler Park. It's good to just sit back, soak in some sun rays, and refresh yourself with a couple of anthos. The entire complex is known as the Oliver House, a historic building which houses apartments, maybe one or two ghosts, Rockwell Steakhouse, the brew pub portion of Mommy Bay, and the tap room. Tap room's new, and then the patio, which has been here a long time, but like I was saying, it's something that really seems like it's gaining traction. Um, I, did, I did a poll on my Instagram, I'm like, what are some of the best patios in the area when I knew I wanted to visit some? Someone said, Mommy Bay, they're like, great patio, and they had a picture of it, I'm like, I need to check that out. Awesome, this well is, thanks this guys. Is <laughs> this is a fun atmosphere, I mean, just relaxing, like we have people coming and going, and now it's quieter out here, but a, a good vibes and a, a good flow of business Absolutely. out here. Yeah, and we do uh, every Thursday when we have our pit, our growler and pitcher specials, we do beer releases on Thursday too. So this is usually just all filled up out here. And it's a great environment, great atmosphere to be out in. Uh, I'm going to eat something here today. Do you know what they're going to prep in the kitchen? Uh, I am not sure. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise. Yeah, it'll be a surprise for both of us. If I were to guess anything, it would probably be uh, one of our Rubens, because those are famous around downtown area, or the peanut butter and jelly burger, because not too many places have those, and we like to you know, specialize in that. Our burgers are fantastic. So it's just peanut butter, cream cheese, bacon, and jelly on there. It's my favorite my item on the menu, too. It's like putting a lunch on a burger. Let's see if it works out. What I love about this is it, it, is it comes in waves. You're not getting just peanut butter, jelly, and cream cheese all at once. You're getting a little mixture. So my initial bite, I got the peanut butter first. Then the jelly came in, then the cream cheese, and then of course the bacon. I mean, we all know what bacon tastes like, but it also adds that crunchy texture to it too. 
And then the burger's fantastic. Very, very good. The giant pretzel, which appropriately named giant pretzel, you can see it. I mean, this is obviously gonna help feed the crew today, not just me. We got the cheddar beer soup with the Buckeye beer. We got the cinnamon sugar butter, and then we got the spicy brown mustard. So the most, the, these two, all right, I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. We're gonna do spicy brown first, which is like your standard. I mean, this is your go-to. You can always fall back on it. If you like mustard, spicy brown mustard, you're gonna love this. Cheddar beer soup gives it a little bit of that local tie in here because it's a Buckeye beer. This isn't just some random beer thrown in here. And it's better because it's not so thick and heavy cheddar. And then this is basically taken to a dessert world. Just that little bit of sweetness to change it up. That's really, really good. And we'll wrap things up with the Reuben. I love corned beef. Whenever I eat corned beef, no matter what time of year it is, I always feel like it's St. Patrick's Day. And Michael said, it's one of their signatures here. All right, hey, thanks for having us out. Absolutely. Cheers to you, Michael. Cheers. Yep, check out the patio at Mommy Bay.